So hey guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Akash Kalra. I am a full-time freelance content writer and I've been working in this vertical for quite some time now. And I have seen a lot of common mistakes that most of the upcoming writers make in their work. So in this video, I have compiled a list of seven tips that you need to keep in mind while writing a technical article. So get a piece of paper, get a pen and start taking notes. Tip number one, give adequate time for research. As a writer, make sure that you have the practice of doing data-driven research before forming any opinion. In the technical landscape, almost everyone agrees to disagree. Questions ranging from Apple versus Android to React versus Angular, they never have any definite answers, nor will they ever have any definite answers. So to avoid getting into the slippery slope of who said what, you need to substantiate your argument based on facts not second-hand opinions. Cool? Before you write about any new technology, framework or a library, as a writer, it is your job to first understand why it was created in the first place. What purpose does it solve? What existing gap is it filling? This is imperative to know because you don't want your audience to misuse a tool by applying it in verticals where it does not work. Got it? Tip number two, always start with a layout. Before you start writing any piece, you need to be absolutely clear of the core message you want your audience to take away. I always say this, you should be able to describe that message in less than four words. Is your message to educate, to introduce, to promote, to discuss, to debate, to compare, or is it anything else? Most content pieces fail to deliver a clear message to the readers because the authors themselves are not clear of what the motive of the piece is. So get that motive clear. Now that you have a clear message in your head, it is time to build the blueprint of your article's narrative. Now you'll ask me, Akash, technical writing is just giving facts, right? I mean, what sort of narrative can I build into an article that explains, let's say, bubble sort? Well, if you write with this intention, chances are that your readers are probably not that invested in your words. So here is what you need to do. You need to break down your article into three simple acts. That's all. Act one, it should discuss the need for the article. The reason you felt compelled to write about this particular framework or this particular algorithm. Let the reader know why you are invested in this topic so that the reader themselves can understand importance of it. Act two, it should have all the content. It should have your code, your logic, your reasoning, every piece of valuable information that you wish to impart from this article should be in act two. Act three, it's the conclusion. This is the part where you wrap things up you conclude all open-ended arguments and you provide all your references and discuss the future scope of work, if any. With me? Tip number three, know your target audience. Whenever you write an article, you need to keep in mind who your target audience is. You should have answers to questions like, what does a member of my target audience already know? What is the reason they would read this article? You need to adjust the content around the level of the comprehension of the target audience. The article meant for school kids cannot be written with the same content as one meant for college graduates, right? You need to be aware why the target audience is reading your article as well. For example, if you're writing an article that talks about data forecasting tool, but that article is meant for marketers, you will not write in depth about the algorithms that the tool used for forecasting, but you will emphasize on the front end functionalities of it. Similarly, if you're writing, let's say a tutorial, for data structures on Geeks for Geeks. You will write with the assumption that the person reading this will be aware of what a programming language is, right? So as a writer, you can impart highly specialized knowledge meant for only select group of people. Increase readability. Tip number four, focus on increasing readability. As a reader, tell me, what do you prefer? Reading a huge paragraph or reading something written in points? Obviously, you prefer points. It is easier to digest and to understand. You need the reader to gain maximum knowledge from your work. So break down your entire explanations into points, sections, subsections. Make that entire article organized. Use infographics and illustrations such as tables, charts, diagrams to explain complex themes in a lucid manner. Always write the code in GitHub just format and not just like normal text. I always believe this. Code is like poetry there is a proper format to write it. Include such practices in your articles and your audience will thank you for it. Trust me. Tip number five, 
Cross check facts and figures with official resources goes without saying. While writing a technical article, you must verify all the mentioned facts and figures with the official standard resources. And you can provide the sources of information as well in the article. In fact, it's actually encouraged if you do that. Also, remember, not mentioning any stat is always better than mentioning an inaccurate one. So make sure that the sources that you're citing are legit and answer from Quora does not count as a valid resource. Tip number six. Don't exaggerate the content unnecessarily. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Your article should be short, succinct. It should be easy to understand. Being verbose and flexing your proficiency of vocabulary will get you no fans in the tech community, you know? You need to make sure that your message is clear. It is easy to understand and it takes less than 8 minutes to read. Anything more than 8 minutes will lead to an exponential decrease in reader retention. So if you have a requirement to reach a certain word count, don't unnecessarily elongate your content, right to the point. And if you're falling short of words, then probably include a new subsection or try to add more value to the piece instead of just writing words that don't say anything. Finally, tip number seven, don't forget to proofread the article. <laughs> this is probably the most basic and the most important tip that I can offer you. If I had a penny for the number of times I have seen a writer make a silly grammatical error in their articles, I probably would make more than what I'm making right now. So I would highly recommend you that you use AI tools like Grammarly for added benefit. Before publishing, make sure that there are no spelling errors, grammatical mistakes or formatting errors. If you're doing something, do it right. So guys, these were the seven quick tips for writing a technical article. I hope that you derived some knowledge out of this video. Now here is the really exciting part. Geeks for Geeks is actually organizing an event called the Technical Scripter and it's tailor-made for all of you budding writers out there. You get the opportunities to write articles and blogs for Geeks for Geeks and the winner gets cash prizes. So turn the rest of your 2020 around, take part in this event, click the link in the bio for more information. Thank you guys for joining me in this video. I hope that you got some knowledge out of it. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.